was first starting out, the most intimidating people I had to photograph were the people in positions of power like CEOs or big guys like male athletes or the very famous. My internal monologue had me believing that because they held positions of power or were wealthy or famous, they were somehow above me in the pecking order and that I needed to not waste their time and shoot as quickly as possible. The turning point for me was when I realised I actually got more respect when I slowed the shoot down and let these people know that in order for, to do my job well as a photographer, they needed to listen to me and follow my instructions so I would get the best possible shots of them. It's when I started saying things like, if you stand like this, it makes you look taller, younger, thinner or more powerful. If you bring your chin forward and down, it gives you a much stronger jawline. I'm going to shoot 10 to 15 frames of you in this position so I get the strongest facial expressions. I once told the CEO of a major airline that he was posing too quickly for the world press in his photo opportunities and as a result of this not giving photographers enough time to get a good shot and missing out on valuable photo opportunities. I demonstrated a way he could improve his poses by slowing down and holding the poses, like when he was shaking hands with athletes at trophy presentations. He thanked me for this valuable advice and told me that nobody had ever pointed this out to him before. I've done the same for many of the powerful and famous people I've photographed. Everyone just wants to look great in their photos and taking the time to explain why I'm asking them to do something and how it will improve the shot is the key to getting people to cooperate with me. I remember the turning point for me came when I realised the only way for me to command respect was to respect myself more and the fact that I actually knew what I was talking about and when it came to photography, I was the expert. So remember, you are the expert here and these people will appreciate your import. Be confident when you give direction and don't hesitate. If it helps, pre-plan your shot list before you shoot. Have a selection of your favourite go-to poses in a scrapbook or on your phone. Then you can easily show the people you're trying to direct exactly what you mean. If you're confident about what you are doing, it's much harder to feel intimidated. Okay, this is going to sound a bit woo-woo, but the way you stand has a huge influence on how confident you feel. Have a look at the body language of people who've just experienced great success, like a sprinter crossing the finishing line, or someone who's just won the raffle at the local pub. The first thing they do is they put their arms in the air. Give it a try now. Put your arms in the air. How do you feel? Good, right? Now let's think about the body language of someone who is depressed or unhappy. The shoulders are hunched, the head is down, and they physically make themselves appear smaller. Try that pose now, hunch yourself up and make yourself as small as possible. How do you feel now? I'm not suggesting you walk into a photo shoot with your arms up in the air because you'll look ridiculous. <laughs> but try doing it just before you go into a shoot and remember to walk tall and make yourself feel as big as possible. Even if you're not feeling it to start with, fake it. This one little trick was one I used to prepare me to photograph some of the most powerful people in the world. For many photographers, the thought of having to pose and direct people can be quite overwhelming. The good news is overcoming fear is a muscle that can be trained like biceps in a gym. The more people you direct and pose, the less intimidating it becomes. Now, just like working out biceps, I recommend you ease into this. You wouldn't start a gym session trying to bench press twice your body weight. Just like I don't advise you start directing and posing with a full on Vogue style shoot. If you've never directed before, I suggest you start with close family and friends that you can have fun with and won't feel embarrassed around you if you forget what to say or make mistakes. I also recommend you get really comfortable doing all the poses and techniques I discuss in this course yourself. It's much easier to direct someone when you know how to do the poses.